Good morning guys. So it's been a minute and um, I forgot to start the video. Hello everyone. It's a lovely Sunday morning today and we are going to Hallmark Farm, Megan Jones's place for a cross country day with Natalie and Dante. We have Dante here um, because today we are doing our first ever competition together with my competition gear got the iconic equestrian jumper over the top to keep my base layer nice and clean but today we are doing a derby day um it's going to be our first ever competition run together um for a bit of fun so we're both really excited as you can see dante can't wait um she's actually headed there right now i'm actually here still at home because natalie has forgotten her numbers her crop and just having a bit of a rushed morning. So I've got the numbers, I've got them in here, in the car, just down there with some scissors. And I'm about to head up there now. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be fun. And I haven't, you know, done any competition stuff since I broke my ankle. So um, I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. And now coming back. Um... It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna film everything and get some nice footage of uh, Dante doing his first cross country, so. Should be good. Yeah, so I'm just tacking him up. We're doing the 65 and the 80 today. I entered the 65 because I was being a wuss. But we're doing the 80 after, all right, all right. So, uh, you know, last time I did cross country, I broke my ankle, all right? Give me a break, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And um, I'll get him tacked up and I'll see you out there. All right. I have the crop. Crop and numbers are secured. Now. Let's go meet Natalie at Hallmark Farm. What a wonderful What a wonderful Dante's back legs have a little cut on them because obviously he has rolled in his yard overnight and like rugged on the fence. He's not lame or anything like that. It's nothing bad, but it, just where it is, I'm not gonna be able to put cross country boots on him. So he's gonna have to go 
with the show jump boots, which is all right. It's only, you know, Boggs and at Megan's, so we've done that before. But yes, I won't be able to use my red cross country boots, but I will be able to use them on the front still. I'll show you guys the setup. So this is the setup. So we've got the red front boots, the red free jumps, the iconic equestrian red setup pad, and of course the main man himself. So yeah, he's just had a little bit of a cut. Um, it's not bad at all, but I just don't think I'll be able to put, it's just up here. Um, I just don't think I'll be able to put the cross country boot because I reckon it'll rub on him. So these are gonna have to do, which will be fine. Brush his tail, looking nice and poofy. <laughs> All right, so Dante is all ready to go. You guys ready to see him? I mean, apart from the bridle, but he's got his red front boots on, little show jumping back boots, the iconic equestrian red saddle pad that I finally, finally get to bring out. It's been a long time coming, been waiting, but finally get to use that one on the cross country. And of course the free jumps. Oh, isn't he just so cute? Yeah, I'm not gonna put an ear bonnet on him because I just don't really like wearing ear bonnets on cross country. It's just a personal thing. Time to get myself ready. And then we'll be going soon. Oh, the back roads. He's so cute. All right, here now. Secured the numbers and secured the horsey right, and the crop. On. We need to get on and get down there. Oh. First round, 65. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. Looking good. There's the commentator's box. Getting warmed up before we head out there. Do some jumping. There he goes, Nats. Ooh, there's the first jump. I missed the starting box. Whoops, my bad. Oh god, it's going all the way over there. Do I go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. He said 30 seconds, but he actually only said 10 seconds. Right. So I was doing my 30 second circle, yeah. and then he went five, and I was like, oh. Then I had to like turn around, and he kind of started trotting, so hopefully it doesn't count as a flying start. Oh well. It was just a 65, and but he did all right. He was so good, and I'm so happy. I think I actually, I've never ever one to say that something's too easy for a horse. But I genuinely think that was too easy for him because I think he wanted to get going a bit more. Yeah. Um, if you know what I mean. Yeah. All righty, so we've just unpacked Dante. He's just going to chill in here for a bit until our next one. Hey, Dante. We'll just put the leftover stuff here for now. Then we're going to go get something to eat. Just a little snack. Let me go get, get him some hay first. Go get him some hay. Leave him here for a bit and then we'll be back for the 80 round at 12 o'clock.
And I don't sound alarmed, but I have a tail. I have someone following me right now. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh God, oh God, we got more, we got more. I'm surrounded. All right, just, have to, just had to retrieve Natalie's numbers, which she left at my car, which is miles away, my dad. But I'm heading there now, it's a long walk, but I won't miss it. She's probably just warming up now and getting them all ready and tacked up and stuff, so I won't miss much, but I'll be there in time for her round. So let's do that now. All right, better. let's go. I'm gonna run. Here she is now, about to do the 80 rounds. I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Um, off she goes. There we go. All right, let's see. Just gonna come up here and go all the way up to those jumps there, those two. So that is your first and Dante's first 80 round. How'd you feel? It was really, really good. Um, I lost all of my uh, distance seeing vision. So I couldn't see a distance to any of those jumps, but he saved us the whole way around. Um, he was just awesome. He's so cool. Gave me so much confidence. I feel so good and I can't wait to do it again. I'm really, really happy with him. I was entered in the training round after just kind of as a backup if the 80 competition, which we just did, didn't go well, um, but it did go well. So I'm not going to do the training because I think he needs to because he was great. And um, yeah, the only kind of dodgy, well, not even really dodgy, but you know, short or long strides that we got were my fault because I couldn't see a stride. So I don't really want to make him do it again and me make the same mistakes. Um, but no, he was really good. I feel so confident. Yeah. Ice fives are on. You rate them? Yeah, they're good. They are really good. Alright, we've got his equissage on now too. <laughs> You're vibrating all over, mate. Well, oh. I haven't got carrots today. So guys, it's been a couple of days since the Derby Day. As usual. As usual. We never do the outro but, um, on the day that it's, we actually do the video. Yeah, we never do the outro. <laughs> we just, just can't be bothered sometimes. But anyway, here it is. 
um, thank you guys for watching. It was a great, great day for, for Dante's first ever cross country with Natalie. He enjoyed it very much and he did very well, I think. We first, both enjoyed it yeah. heaps. It was really fun. And um, yeah, good to know what um, we can kind of expect for um, doing the next ones and stuff. He thinks she's got but He was pretty much perfect. I couldn't really, oh, oh. I couldn't really, I couldn't really fault him. So yeah, I'm super happy with that. And I can't wait to get out to more stuff. So the next Derby Day, he really wants some scratches. So the next Derby Day, which will be on the 14th of November, um, we would make another video for that. We're actually going to step up and do the 95. We have jumped all of the 95 lines in the course. So I do feel, although we will be able to do it, you know, it's just a bit of fun anyway. Um, nothing official. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I will video you that all for you guys. And hopefully we can get out to an actual some more events. Oh, he loves it. He's loving the scratches. He's um, a big sook. So hopefully we can get out to some actual events before the end of the year. Thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. So Make sure you do keep it. Keep watching and keep making videos. More um, videos will be coming, I promise you. We're in the uni holidays now. There's going to be a lot more fun and entertainment coming. Trust me. All right. <laughs> so stay tuned. Thank you so much guys. Bye. Thanks guys. Bye. What a wonderful